Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to send data to Azure IoT Hub using Node-RED. So if you're new to this channel, I'm Kudzai and I regularly publish Internet of Things and Industry 4.0 tutorials on this channel. So make sure to subscribe to get them as they come out. So the IoT device that I want to build an app for is this industrial IoT core box, which is an edge gateway that natively runs Node-RED. So here I've got my industrial IoT gateway connected to my industrial controller here and my industrial controller has got some input output devices connected to it but for now we're interested in the status of these digital input switches. Okay so the first thing that I need to do is to log into my Azure portal and register my IIoT gateway under my Azure IoT hub. So I'm in my Azure portal here. I'll click on the IoT hub. Okay, and then under my IoT hub here, I'll scroll down to IoT devices. I'll click on IoT devices. So I'll click on the new button. And then here I'll enter the name of my device. And then here I'll leave the authentication type as symmetric key. And then I'll also let Azure IoT auto-generate my primary and secondary keys. And then I'll also make sure that the connect this device to an IoT hub is enabled. So I'll go ahead and save this. Okay, so my device has been successfully created. I'll click into the device in order to get the connection information that would enable me to connect to Azure IoT Hub from my industrial IoT gateway. So I will copy the primary connection string here. Now the next thing that I need to do is to access the Node-RED editor on my IIoT core box and to do that I'll put in the IP address of my IoT core box. And then my Node-RED is running at port 1880. Okay, so I successfully logged in to the Node-RED editor. First of all, I need to install the Node-RED package that would allow me to read the digital input switches on my Opto22 controller. So I'll go to the menu here. Click on Manage Palette and then select the Install tab and then I'll put the name of the package for my PEC control, controller and then I'll click Install, Install. Okay, so we've successfully installed the packages for reading the digital input switches. Now I'll drag the inject node onto my canvas. And then I'll set the interval for reading the data to five seconds. And then I'll click done. Okay, and then I'll scroll down here and drag my package for reading the industrial controller the one that I just installed now. And then I'll double click on it to edit its properties. And then I'll select add new pack device. And then I'll enter the IP address of my industrial controller here. And then I'll enter the API key name, which has been pre-configured on the controller. And then I'll also enter the value and then I'll click add and then here I need to select the type of input that I want to read which is my digital input and then here I must enter the actual name of the tag as described on the controller and then here I'll enter the display name for this node
Okay, and then I'll copy this node. And then I'll change this to switch two. And that one to switch two as well. And then I'll connect my read nodes to my inject node. Okay, the next thing that we need to do is to convert these data points that we're reading from our industrial controller into telemetry data objects that we'll be able to send to Azure IoT Hub. And to do that, I'm going to use a function block. And then I'll double click on it. And then I'll paste this code here. So this is essentially a JSON object. So for our device ID, we go to the primary connection string that we copied earlier. And then we copy this section here, which is the device ID. And we paste it right here. And then for the key, we copy this section here. And then we paste it here. And then we're going to leave our protocol as MQTT and our data as the payload. Prepare Azure message, click done, and then I'll copy that node for our other input, and then I'll connect the output of my read node to the input of my function block. Okay, so we've read the inputs from the industrial controller and we've converted that message to a JSON object now we need to send that to the Azure IoT Hub. And to do that, we need to install the Azure IoT Hub node red package or library. So I'll go to my menu here, select Manage Palette, select the Install tab, and then I'll enter the name of my package, click Install, Okay, so we have successfully installed our Azure IoT Hub node red package. So I'll scroll down here and then drag the Azure IoT Hub package onto the canvas and then double click on it to edit its properties. So here I'll select MQTT protocol. And then for the host name, we go to our primary connection string again. And then this time we copy this part here, which is your host name. And then we paste it here. And then we click done. Okay, and then I'll connect both my input points to this Azure IoT Hub node. So we've successfully put together a node red flow that reads the digital input switches, converts that message to JSON, and then sends it to Azure IoT Hub. So I'm going to go ahead and deploy this. Okay, so as you can see, we're getting a message that says sent message on our Azure IoT Hub node. But then now, how do we verify that the messages sent from our industrial IoT gateway on Node Red is actually reaching the Azure IoT Hub? To do that, we're going to use a Device Explorer utility. So I'm going to pull it up here. And then on this one, we need to put the IoT Hub connection string. So I'll go back to my Azure IoT portal. Select my IoT Hub and then under my IoT Hub, I'll click on Shared Access Policies 
and then I'll select the IoT Hub Owner Policy, which is a policy that allows me to read and write to the IoT Hub. And then here, I'll copy the primary connection string for our IoT Hub. And then I'll paste it on the Device Explorer. Click Update. Okay, so we've successfully connected to our IoT Hub. And then if we go under Management tab here, you see it will list for us the devices that are currently configured under the IoT Hub. You go to the Data tab, select the device whose messages you want to monitor, which is my IIoT call box in this instance, and then click on the Monitor button. So as you can see, our messages are getting to the Azure IoT Hub and we're reading true for both switches. So if you found this video useful, please press the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more IoT videos like this as they come out.